Welcome back guys. In today's class, we are going to understand some of the basic networking questions, discuss them and give appropriate answers. So let's begin. From number one says, a device that can send and receive information but not at the same time. Okay? A device that can send and receive information but not at the same time is said to be. So guys, this basically narrows down to duplex okay so we're going to base our discussion in duplex so let's start a simplex what do we mean by simplex a simplex is a one-way transmission meaning you only send data you don't care of receiving it's only one way okay but full duplex it's two way you send and receive data but now at the same time okay you can send data and receive at the same time that basically means full duplex so we said our discussion is based in duplex so multicast is not a duplex okay so we are remaining with half duplex half duplex is a scenario where we can send and receive data but not at the same time we send and leave some time to receive data okay so it's half duplex okay number two a message that is sent out on the network and is destined for all system is known as a message that is being sent out and is destined for all the systems is known as let's start discussing unicus a unicus is a message that is sent to only one device one to one so unicus is one to one okay then multicast a multicast is a message that is sent to a group of devices not all but a group suppose there are 20 devices a multicast message can be sent to 15 10 8 a group of devices okay so one to a group okay then full duplex full duplex is not here okay so let's let, let's remove it out okay so we are remaining with the broadcast a broadcast a message a broadcast message is that message that is sent to all the devices in the network okay except the sender so it is broadcast right number three a message that is sent out on a network and is distant a message that is sent out on the network and is distant for a group of systems we said in the above discussion that a multicast is that scenario where a message is sent to a group of devices so it is multicast without further discussion right so let's go a group of system that can receive once another broadcast message is known as guys we discussed what domains are we discussed about collision and broadcast domain okay and this we said in collision domain two or more devices sense data and the data collide and requires those devices to resend the data okay now it's not collision domain Active directory domain remove it out here. Full qualified domain remove it out here. It's nothing to do to do with the, the broadcast messages. Okay? So in broadcast domain a single message is sent to the devices in the network. Okay. Alright. So number five. We're monitoring network traffic and notice that there is a large number of broadcast messages sent across the wire. Okay? Broad number of messages sent across the wire you would like to separate your network into multiple broadcast domains how would you do this guys we discussed earlier that there are only two ways to separate broadcast domain one of them is vlan okay right a vlan technology virtual LAN. a vlan technology is a scenario where you create separate broadcast domain right so one of them is vlan 
and another one is router remember a router connects two or more different networks and those networks are in separate broadcast domain so the router will connect those multiple broadcast domains so it is VLANs and router okay all right so a group of system that can have their data collide with the one another is known as guys we have just discussed this earlier here okay we, ju we have just discussed this earlier here and we said a collision domain is a scenario whereby two or more devices transmit data at the same time leading by collision and they will require to resend the data again okay so it is collision domain right this collision domain this one is was broadcast domain and this was multicast this was broadcast this was half duplex this was a router and a VLAN okay so number seven she is having trouble understanding some network concepts and ask you to help identify address types which of the following is considered layer 2 address layer 2 basically means data link layer and data link layer we are dealing with MAC addresses right so let's check a MAC address here within these answers this is an IP address meaning it's not and this one is a URL okay the main name it doesn't mean it, it is not MAC address computer one this one is just a name that you can label to your computers it is not so the answer is this one is the MAC mm -hmm. address okay and remember MAC address is 48 bit in length okay so number eight you are troubleshooting communication to a network by looking at the link light on the switch what layer of assignment are you troubleshooting when looking at a link light application layer provides interface between application software and the internet so it's not physical layer it is okay network layer deals with the routing and selection of best path okay IP addressing data link layer forwarding of frames okay and MAC addressing okay so here we are dealing with hardware components a layer that we are dealing with hardware component is physical layer right okay the last question what layer of the assignment model is responsible for breaking data into smaller segments guys we said the data types at every layer okay we said at application layer the data type is bits data link layer it's frames network layer is packets and transport layer is segments so here it's bit physical layer sorry here it's frames here it's bits here it's packets and here it's segments okay welcome back guys to part two of the basic networking questions and answers so what device is responsible for regenerating signals so that the signal can travel a greater distance so let's look at the possible answers a bridge first of all we must understand that a signal operates at which layer signal operates at physical layer so basically we're going to look at the devices that operate at the physical layer okay so bridge is a layer 2 device okay it is not a router is a layer 3 device it is not a repeater is a layer 1 device or a physical layer device so let's put it pending a switch is a layer 
two device it is not okay a hub is a layer one device or a physical layer device so we have two possible answers okay but hub cannot regenerate the signals okay a device that regenerates the signal is a repeater so repeater regenerate the signals remember this repeater regenerate the signal so that the signal can travel a greater distance right okay number two which device filters traffic by looking at the destination address of the frame and then forward the frame to the port that the destination system resides on basically what we are going to look at here is frames remember here we look at signals and we say signals operate at physical layer now frame operates at layer 2 data link layer of the OSI model so let's see which devices operate at the data link layer of the OSI model hub layer 1 it is not router layer 3 it is not repeater layer 1 it is not now it is a switch remember switch as a mac address table a mac address table consists of destination mac addresses of the various devices connected to that switch and the respective ports that these devices are connected okay such that when a switch receives a frame it checks on its mac address table and says this frame is this its destination address is this one and the destination mac address is connected to port this one okay and for that frame to that particular port okay guys number three which of the following is a layer three device bridge is a layer two device bridge and switch layer two device okay router is a layer three device okay repeater is layer one physical layer device switch layer two device okay we have already discussed this in our previous class guys and any of you that are having any problem understanding this we will give a link okay we have given a link up here check you will check up here you will see an icon click on the icon and you will be redirected to the classes okay all right number four you are man your manager has you which service is responsible for translating source IP address of a packet to IP address of public interface on the router guys this one there's something that we call network address translation a network address translation translate private IP address into public IP address and vice versa okay so it's network address translation NAT okay DCP basically deals with provision of IP addresses dynamically DNS resolving of domain name into IP address okay you can type google.com and that google.com has a specific IP address so what translate that domain name into IP address is called DNS okay then HTTP HTTP basically is a service that is used to display web pages HTML pages okay so our correct answer was NAT network address translation you are troubleshooting a communication problem you seem to be able to communicate with Glenn's website by IP address but not fully qualified domain name this one what is the most likely problem guys in above discussion here we said dns resolves that domain name into ip address okay and ip address into domain name DCP server we said it deals with allocation of IP addresses dynamically NAT basically translates private IP address into public IP address and vice versa DNS resolves or translate domain name into IP address and vice versa 
HTTP as we said deals with this it displays HTML web pages so considering this problem this the right answer is DNS okay which network service can be configured on your router that is responsible for assigning IP addresses to system on the network guys these things are repetitive okay we said DCP dynamic host configuration protocols deals with assigning of IP addresses dynamically so it's the correct answer we have discussed what this means what this means and what this means so differentiate between them you are monitoring number seven you are monitoring a network traffic and you notice a number of DCP discover messages underline this one on the network which is the following destination address of DCP discover message guys there's something that we call broadcast messages a DCP discover message is a broadcast message right whenever a host in a network wants to acquire IP address it requests any DCP server available to be assigned an IP address that message that is used to the first message that it sends the first message that that host computer will send is called DCP discover message first of all it must discover if there are any DCP server around to provide it with the IP address okay so eh? so we want to look at any broadcast address this one is a MAC address but it's not broadcast address the only possible MAC address that is broadcast address is always this one this one is an IP address okay this one is an IP address so this one is the only broadcast address that DCP discover message on the network will refer to okay number eight when a client system boots up and request an IP address it first must send out the message the same thing that is has been asked here okay we said when a host wants to request an IP address the first thing that it does is that it sends a DCP discover message to discover if there are any DCP server around to provide it with an IP address okay so the best answer is DCP discover which of the following which layer of OSM works with frames guys these things are repetitive layer 1 bits layer 2 well layer, layer 1 physical layer bits layer 2 data link layer frames layer 3 network layer packets layer 4 transport layer segments the, the best answer is layer 2 so guys kindly do us a favor if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly hit the bell icon kindly we really request you because it's, if you support us we really are motivated to continue much research and bring much questions for our discussion kindly hit the bell icon okay and subscribe we really 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 plead with you kindly subscribe and like our videos okay and if you have any problem understanding what you have just discussed the link is above here the link is somewhere here click on it and you'll be directed to where these classes are start learning from class one to the latest video my friend i believe you will have a strong understanding of the basic networking so guys let's see in the next class bye